Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So let's switch things up a little bit. Have you heard of a band called The Warning? No. It's always fun to introduce friends to The Warning and other bands like it. Terry has never heard of The Warning. And so this will be fun for, for all of us. I enjoyed it. So. If you don't know who Terry Luce is, Terry was the singer of Great White from 2010 to 2018. Before that, he's a founding member and was the singer of a band called XYZ. He's a good guy. If you want to get to know more about him, you can go to his website at terryelouse.com and learn a little bit more about him. Also want to throw a shout out, a thank you to the people at Pescovore Seafood for still making my favorite treat. I really do enjoy eating these. They've been sending them to me and they're, they're really great. They're high in protein. They're a tasty snack. It's jerky made of ahi fish. And so uh, I love them. Thank you very much for continuing to think of me. Let's jump into this. Okay, so this is a band called The Warning. It's three sisters. They're from Mexico. I think they're really great. They are up and coming. They're doing very well. They're on a tour right now in the United States. The song I chose is a song called Disciple, and it's live at the Teatro Metropolitan CDMX. And so we'll give it a go, and you can tell me what you think of these ladies. And here we go.
do we do this time? They have a lot of energy, um, a tremendous energy. Um, they have a good stage presence. I think so, um, yeah. They command uh, the audience very well. Uh, the show is very good. Um, they are... They're very good musicians. Um, the drummer is, is tremendous. Um, a lot of energy, the, the drummer. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're very professional. The show is great. Very professional. Cool. I think it's I think it's that their stage presence is is really really strong and their ability to to draw the audience into the show I think is amazing at their age she is it's it's I assume you would know it's it's hard to do right they are a little bit less generic than the other one the other one the first band we heard was very good but a little bit more generic there was not much personality in it um it's like it was a song written by some anybody could I mean, I wouldn't say anybody can write a song like that, but I'm just saying that it was a wannabe Iron Maiden slash something else, you know. But there was what was lacking is the energy and 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 the involvement. Um, as of this band has much more energy, um, and uh, you can feel that with the audience reaction. Uh, although, again, the first band was was good as well. It's just a matter of a preference. That's all. Absolutely. Okay. Have we heard of a band called Nightwish? Yes. Okay. I thought maybe, maybe, maybe. Are you a fan? I think they're fantastic. Okay, great. Have we heard a song called Romanticide? I don't recall the title, but you can play it for me and I'll tell you. Let's do it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rody. I'll see you guys on the next one.